Good morning, good morning guys. Today our lesson is Angle Relationships in Circles 12.5 which is a completion to the previous four lessons of chapter 12 of Circles. Uh, our objectives as you can see is find the measures of angles formed by lines that intersect circles. That's the first objective and the second one is Use angle measures to solve problems as an application to the first objective. Definitely we have made definitely we have made some warm up here to find a measure of some uh, line segments that intersect some chords, some secants and to identify them and in such circle and to find such inscribed angles here and center angles and then we start with the first rule here uh, you can see here that in this theorem it is a tangent secant theorem saying that if a tangent and a secant Or a chord, whatever it is, intersects a circle on a point of tangency B here, then the measure of that angle formed is half of the intercepted arc. Definitely, we can see that the arc intercept here is AB, and we can see that the formed angle here is ABC, and obviously, we can see that. The angle formed is this angle, ABC, and that this measure angle is half of the intercepted arc AB. As you can see here, on the right angle, measure angle ABC is half of the measure of the intercepted arc AB. Okay? So, if we have a tangent BC and a secant and when they are intersected at a point B they're gonna form an inscribed angle this angle measures is half of the intercepted arc example for this we can see here that we want to find the measure of angle of EFH which is here blue so it is intercepting the arc FH which is 130 definitely the measure of the angle of uh, EFH gonna be half of the measure of 130 by the rule as you can see here and following the rule so half of the 130 is 65, half of time, time 130 given, the measure of the, the given arc. And by this, we can find that it is 65 degree. The second example here, find the measure of the arc GF. Now we don't have the intercepted arc and we don't have the required angle but we do have the supplement angle of the required of the intercepted angle with the arc of the inscribed angle here missing by linear pair we can find it and then from that we can find implementing the rule of the tangent secant measure to find the required measure of the arc how measure angle g as we can see it's half of the measure of the required arc how much is the measure angle angle of g as we said linear pair the, the sum is 180 so we're gonna say to find it to find the angle here we're gonna say 180 minus uh, 122 okay the adjacent 
supplement angle for it, which is 180 minus 122. It's going to provide us 58 degree. From this angle, as it is intercepting the arc FG, definitely the angle is half of the intercepted arc. So we're going to say 58 is half of the intercepted arc FGF. Cross product because now we have the angle 2 times 58 it's going to be 116 which is double of the angle which is the measure of the arc GF which is 116 degree double of the intercepted angle that we found it from the supplement angle 122 so here indirectly we can find a second example the, the requirement. A third example, find each measure. They want us to find measure of angle STU. Immediately, it is intercepting the arc ST, and the given arc is 166, and this is inscribed angle between a, sin a tangent and a secant, uh, between ST and TU. So definitely STU is going to be half of 166 as a rule, which is 83 degree, as you can see. Similarly, we can find also the arc RS, because now we have the angle QRS, 71 degree. We're going to continue here. We can see that QRS as an angle is 71. The intercepted arc of it is double of the angle or the angle at half of the arc, now we write, we are writing SRQ, that equal half of the measure of the arc SR, plus the product, it means double of it, 2 times 71, it's 142, the measure of the arc SR. So, vice versa, we can find the arc from the, inter the intercepted arc from the inscribed angle, and oppositely we can find vice versa. Another rule we can see here, we have uh, the other theorem obtained by the, uh, uh, providing another rule. It, it matters a lot. Here we have internal angles, we name them inter interior, uh, in the interior of the circle. We name them in general internal angles because they are in the interior of the circle, which is angled here, 1 and 2. How, if two secants or chords intersected into the interior of the circle, then the measure of each angle here, how it is, it is half of the sum. Let us focus, guys. It is half of the sum of the intercepted arcs. We have the arc CD and AB, or AB and CD. These are the intercepted arcs of the two angles. Okay, what's the connection? Since it's internal, so the rule is the measure of any angle here. For example, angle 1, it's half of the, the sum of the intercepted arc, the measure of the intercepted arc. Yani half of the AB plus CD, as you can see. Half of the measure of AB plus measure of CD. This is measure angle 1. Similarly, which is equal to measure angle 2. It means... This is equal to measure angle 2. This is equal to measure angle 2. Okay? So we have the chords AD and BC. They are intersected at a point E. The output of this is that when, when these angles, the measure of these angles is half of the sum of these intercepted arcs, AB plus CD. You have to learn it by heart, as you can see, I've written that. To implement that, we have here in this example, we can see uh, you can see clearly here we have find the measure of the angle AEB. Okay, to find AEB, we have the arcs, intercepted arc. It's in, number one, it's an internal angle. Okay, it means inside the circle, in the interior of the circle. And they have the intercepted arcs AB and, and CD or DC. 
So half of the sum of them, they are given. Immediately implement the rule, measure of angle of A, A, E, B is half of the arc A, B, and measure of C, arc C, D. The given arcs is 139 plus 113, half of the sum of them, which is half of 252, which, which is 126. And you can see that, guys, 126, uh, AEB is equal to DEC and uh, because they are vertical angles and by this also we have found two angles at the same time and we can find the rest two angles as well by supplementary and by this we can find the measure of all the internal angles if we have obtained if we have obtained the two intercepted arcs We can see, this is reflected in this example, we want to find the measure of the angle ABD, the yellow one. Now, they, did, they gave us here ABD, we have the intercepted arcs, uh, 65 and 37, AD and, and CE, so half of the sums is in, it's in, internal. Half of the 65 plus 37 is half of 102. So measure angle ABD is 51 degree, as you can see. Can we find the rest? Yes. If this is 51, if ABD is 51, I have found DBC by subtracting it from 180 supplementary or linear pair. So 181 is 51 is 129. And we can find the rest of the arcs as well. And we can find the measure of all the parts of the circle as soon as we found the internal angles or the intercepted arcs. Here again, find each angle. Now they start to extend the requirement. Find each angle measure R and M. You can see that R and M is a small angle, bluish. I made it here. It's not given. These two angles, the red one now, the intercepted arcs aren't given. But other two arcs are given. So we're going to find, we're going to find first, the other supplement angles and then we can subtract it from 180 as you can see in the last step here anyway so we have to find measure angle m and q because we have their intercepted arcs we have m q and rp this is 91 degree and the other is 225 and we can see clearly they are given so half of the sum of them will provide us m and q and from M and Q, we can find the required angle R and M by supplementary. So here, half of 91 plus 225 is 158 degree. This is whom? 158, this is M and Q. Okay, can we find this? Yes, by supplementary. You can see here, we have a straight line. Or let me say uh, red. It means linear pair. So 180, you can see here, 180 minus this angle. And then if we found 180 minus 158, is it 22 degree, which is our R and M requirement angle. And we have found it here. So, by supplementary, indirectly, we can find, as I said, all the measurements. Now, we have allocated the previous. This is in connection, but here in exterior. The previous was allocated for interior. Now, we are allocating all the exterior in one theorem. In three cases, we have the tangent and secant. The first one, you can see a tangent and secant. 
okay from an exterior point C and here we have two tangents from exterior point F and the third case we have two secants from exterior point L the three cases saying similar to the previous inter internal angles internal angles we have half of the sum but the exterior is half of the difference clearly you can see here you can see that the first one is measure angle one it's half of the half of the difference of the intercepted arc because it's a rule we are saying if a side is a tangent or two tangents or two seconds forming an external angle to a circle to find this angle measure it's equal to the what to the half of the difference of the intercepted arc. here we have the intercepted arcs are ad and bd so we're gonna say the big one minus the small one ad minus bd half of them half of these is equal to the measure angle one similarly angle two is half of the difference ehg the big arc the small one is eg so ehg minus eg half of that is equal to the measure of angle two and measure angle three is the difference of the subtraction between the big arc j n minus the small arc k n half of them is equal to the angle three and here i gave the student two to twenty questions homework exercises from the textbook and they solved it and we checked it second day they sent me in Edmodo as an online communication um, yes another example we can see here clearly we can see here that Find the value of x as an exterior angle. It seems it is, but it is yes, it's exterior, and the point E is outside. And it is intercepting two arcs, the big arc CG and the small arc is DF. Definitely, according to the rule, the two secant, it means half of the difference since it's exterior, and half of the difference of MG minus measure arc DF is given. 87 minus 7 degree which is half of the 80 because it's 80 you can see here it is 80 the difference is 80 degree and half of the 80 is 40 degree and we here we can see also here to find x because the question is find x in each case we have here a tangent and a secant whatever the two arcs, one of the big one is 200 and the small one is 74. Since exterior, it means half of the difference. And half of AD minus BD is half of 200 minus 74, which is equal to 63 after we make the calculations as it is clear. To continue, we have the same. Now, we are implementing not to find the, the angle to find one of the missing arcs just to implement the rule angle here L is equal half of the arc LN minus KM what's required here is KM easy but we just implement it half of JN minus KM half of 83 minus X and angle is 25 provided we can make just calculations cross product 2 times 25 is 50, 50 equals 83 minus x, just to get rid of the half. Okay. And then we can take x other side and 50 other side. 83 minus 50 is 33. And we can see that the measure of the arc x is, or kn is 33 degree, as you can see. Here or here. The greenish. I made them green. So we can use it, we can manipulate that to find the missing part, whether it is a, an arc or it is an angle. The important part is to implement the rule. Since we have exterior angle, it means for exterior angle formed by two seconds, it means we have to 
implement the rule of half of the difference of the arcs. Now here uh, it is a nice question. We cannot find the interior angle because we don't have the required arc and it is not an inscribed angle. So here, uh, in the company logo shown, measure of arc FH is 108, as it is given. And the LJ arc is given 12. What is the measure of the arc uh, FKH? It's the logo of a company. FKH, it means the angle K. As it is, as you can see, I made it here. The blue. Definitely, it's an external angle or exterior angle, and we have two intercepted arcs. One of them is 108. The other one is a 12. Here, it's 12 degree. And then we can find the measure of the angle K. So. Measure angle K is equal difference because exterior, exterior. Half of the FH big one minus LJ, the small one, which is half of 108 minus 12, which is half of 96, which is equal to 48 degree, the measure of the angle K. As it is, as you can see it here, depends on the measures of the intercepted arc. And I wrote here EXT as an external angles or exterior angles. Angle. Here another one, similarly. Okay, two of the six muscles that control eye movement are attached to the eyeball. And you can see the eyeball is, is in the circle. And intersect behind the eye, which is here behind, which is C. If measure of the arc AEB is 225, which is the eye or most of it that we see, what is the measure of the angle ACB, which is the external angle? Now, clearly we can see that it is intercepting only big and small. We can subtract 360 minus, now to find the small arc, you can see here, guys, it's not given, but easy, we can subtract it from the C360 because we have the other AEB, the, the major arc 225 given. So 360 minus 225 is the small arc AB. And now we substitute in the rule because the rule said half of the difference since exterior angle of the big arc minus the, the, the small arc, the intercepted arcs. So half of 225 minus 135 that we found it here from the 360 it becomes 90 and half of the 90 is 45 degree which is the measure of the angle C we can write it measure angle C or measure angle AC, ACB whatever it is as you can see it here And it's easy to be found as long as we implement the rule correctly for exterior or interior. Here we have allocated all the rules in this chapter you can see here. And you have to learn it by heart. The first one, when we have here inscribed angles, half of the intercepted arc, angle 1, is half of the 120, which is 60. Here two secants, here uh, inscribed angle of secant and a tangent, which is one uh, half of the 200 is 100, measure angle 2. The second idea in this lesson is the internal angle or interior angle, the inside of the circle, which is half of the sum, as, you can, as we said, half of the sum of the intercepted arcs. An angle 1 is equal to half of that 86 plus 44, which is equal to 65. And angle 1 is equal to angle 2 as vertical angles, as we explained that previously, just to summarize all the ideas. And the final one, and we just finished it now, 
the exterior angles and uh, in the outside of a circle, the exterior angles of a circle is half of is equal to half of the sum, half of sorry, half of the difference. See the the, the, the mistake, half of the difference because it's exterior. Okay, half of the difference of the intersected arcs, and you can see here initial angle one is equal half of 202 minus 87, and which is equal here. 262 and measure angle to similarly half of the difference of 125 minus minus 45 equal to 40 and we can here just uh, shade it similarly to show you here that's angle 2 and similarly you can find so this is a good summary to all the lessons idea ideas all the lesson ideas and rules and provided by examples and numbers so this slide guys summarizes all the lesson which is very easy to you that's why i written led by heart lbh it summarizes all of it this is slide 18 is very important Another example here, it's a complicated case or a compound case. If you can understand it, it matters a lot. We spend the whole period for this. This example, this idea, we solved two examples of three, but we allocated a whole period because it matters. Okay, here find the measure of, of, of the arc. Uh, y is it? Why is it we can see is the bluish part, it's outside. But here it depends on the idea of indirect calculations. We can find we have to find the other parts, and from the other parts, we can find the required part. Just a second. Again, so we are continuing. So what I'm saying is a uh, measure of the arc my uh, uh, sorry yz measure of yz we cannot find it so we're gonna find first the the ui and the wz because they are provided we have the ui we can find it i mean we have the wz and we have the We have the arc. You can see here we are we are mixing between. I mean, we are uh, finding. We are using internal and external at the same time to find uh, the arc blue. It depends on the other arcs. The other arc depends on the internal angle. And then from the internal angle, we can use the external angle X to find the YZ. So this is the strategy of how we can solve it. So I've written here, as you can see on the right, angle X is equal half of YZ minus UY. Okay. First of all, we don't have, so we're gonna first we're gonna we're gonna find here UY. This, this is a step one and step one can be seen here and then we're gonna find the step two and the second slide okay but in this slide is for only for step one to find measure a measure arc ui from ui we can find we can use the external angle so this slide is gonna be allocated to find the U are using the internal angle, okay, and the intercepted arcs of it. So measure angle, you can see that. Measure angle 1, X, V, Y, measure angle 1, I name it, okay, here, is equal to what? To the sum, half of the sum, because internal. The sum of the intercepted arc, which is what? 68 plus U, Y. Angle one can we find we can find it by as a linear pair one plus one hundred thirteen is 
Angel angle 1 plus 113 is 180 linear pair. Or 180 minus 113, you can see it here on the left, 180 minus 113 is 134. Good. So measure angle 1 is 134. The intercepted arcs, it's equal half of the sum of 68 plus UY. Half of UY plus 68. So on the left part, we have 134, which is the measure of the angle 1. And we have the A arc 68, but we don't have UY from here. We can find UY. So now take 68 to other side. Take 68 to other side. 134 minus 68 is 66. So measure of the arc of UY is 66. Now why do we find UY again? To find part 2, which is here, which is the the requirement of the question you can see the requirement of the question this is two which is why is it which is here bluish so we want to find number two here and number two here first we have found number one number one was here angle one was here then now from one we can find two by using the external angle the external angle x is equal half of the difference of y is it minus u y we have found UY 66, you can see, and we have the angle 49. Now we can implement the external angle rule, half of the difference of YZ, arc 2, requirement 2, minus the UY, we found the 66. And we can find it here in this slide. Sorry, and this is slide here. So, I will write it here, it's equal to measure angle x, is equal half of the difference of the big one, which is yz. So, I'm continuing, guys, here. I'm continuing this rule down here measure angle x minus uy again measure angle x is 49 degree equal half of yz i don't know how much is yz minus 66 cross product it means 98 is equal yz minus 66 which is ui take it to other side 98 plus 66 equal to yz the arc 98 is 164 so my required angle is 164 degree is the required arc the measure the required of the arc you can see here it is yz which is 164 that's it done so part two i have done it now in front of you you can see that it depends on the external angle, half of the difference, and we have made the steps. Hope it is understood. Two steps. First, internal, if I found UY, and step two, now we can find it. So measure angle two, we have found it here, here, which is 164, the total. And we can see here, clearly, it is 164. It is clearly in size slide 20, maybe I missed it, whatever. Similarly, the steps here, it's 164, measure of the arc. Why is it? You can see it clearly. Here we are checking out by another example, similar one. Yeah, it takes too long, this, this uh, lesson, but it is important. Measure of arc LP, you can see that LP uh, it's not part of the external angle 
but they gave us the whole arc uh, LR. You can see that LR from L to R, all of that is 100 degree. How we can find LP from LR? They didn't give us PR, but they gave us its external angle 26. From external angle, we can use it with the intercepted arc SM. We can find the arc RP and subtracting the RP from the 100. So it's in two steps. Step one, to find the arc LP, we have to find the arc RP, so or PR. So step one, find the arc PR using the external or the exterior angle. The exterior angle Q is equal to the exterior angle Q is equal to half of the difference of MS minus PR. It's given 26 is equal half of 80 minus PR. That's what you want, the PR. Cross product, 26 times 2 is 52. 52 equal 80 minus the arc. Take 80 other side. Sorry, take the arc other side and 52 other this side to be positive. So measure of arc is equal to 80 minus 52 which is 28 and you can see it's very small now to find the arc LP we subtract it from the 100 LR all of it so immediately definitely 100 or LR equal to the sum of them or 100 minus the 28 taking it to the other side here you can see 80 minus uh, sorry 100 minus 100 minus 28 is 72, you can see here. So the LP here became 72. The, the, the arc of this 100, definitely, it is 72. You can see it's in greenish, I made it. And the bluish is, the 28 is the RP, the two steps. The step one was, in blue I made it, which is 28, the RP, and from RP, I found LP, the green arc, subtracting it from 100, which is 100 minus 28 is 72 degrees. By this, uh, we, we gave a quiz uh, to, this, to the student here to cover all the things, the ideas, uh, quiz 1 and quiz 2. And also, we gave them a practice. Yeah, you can see that we solved practices here. All of that, practice B and practice A, we have solved together. You can see, guys, we have solved practices and implement all of that in addition to the homework. So we have solved many things. Hope it was understood and the lesson is understood for all of you. Uh, and the conclusion that we learn the angle relationships in circles. Good day, good day now for now and the lesson is ended.